This is going to be a quick video documenting my build for the Endless Delve event. It is a Corrupting Fever Gladiator. And I'm using Bladestorm to apply stacks rather than Kinetic Blast. Uh, there's no particular reason aside from the fact that I really liked the uh, starting sword. felt like it had a really great just overall utility and um, good stats. You know, free frenzy charges, plus one AoE. You know, this is an AoE skill. So that was cool. And then I got really lucky and corrupted Onslaught on it, which is fantastic. So now I have Onslaught. Um... Let's see. So the the tree is just a pretty conventional corrupting fever gladiator tree. I uh, opted for more defenses, as you know, the goal is just to get to ninety five, maybe further. And you don't really need too much damage in delve. So I have a uh, eighty and seventy nine, seventy nine. I'm not capped on cold, but with four endurance charges and this shield. I'm always uh, capped while delving, so it's not an issue. Uh, I use primarily armor bases, uh, except for this. Primarily armor bases along with determination for most of my defense. I got 17,000 armor. And then I also have uh, four endurance charges on top of that. Uh, 3459 block. Then I use reckoning with life gain on hit as just a poor man's uh, block recovery. Uh, I've got uh, Enduring Cry Whirling Blades here on Life Tap just for the easy move and I can just cast it whenever. Blood Rage Tempt to Shield just for block and also applies Corrupting Fever. Pride for damage, uh, Blood and Sand for AoE and uh, Challenger Charges. Then the rest of my gear, uh, I got pretty lucky. I found a cannot be ignited ring, so I'm immune to freeze, ignite, and shock. And then I have uh, chill on my flasks here, so that pretty much covers that. Um, got lucky, found this. It was just a great way to get a plus one on my corrupting fever. And then everything else was basically just life, resists, whatever I could find. Got really lucky, found a mark of submission. Vulnerability, of course. And I'm running the three elemental flasks just to really, you know, protect myself as much as I can from elemental damage. As I have decent armor and block, I feel like I'm reasonably safe from fizz. So, just do a quick note here. I've been wanting to try a corrupting fever all league, but I just never really had the occasion to and this seemed like a good opportunity it's nice I mean you use whirl you don't have to stop and kill stuff I just do for you know XP I like it more than um, kinetic uh, or not gonna, yeah, kinetic blast just because I can use see that was actually an example of how good the block recovery is um, but I like it more than uh, KB just because you get whirling blades and whirling blades are fast shield charges can be as fast but you need a lot of attack speed whereas whirling blades is just fast It's comfy, the damage is good, it's snappy. I like that the uh, uh, sandstorms kind of persist and hunt monsters, uh, monsters out for you. So even if you you know don't hit them on the first, uh, you don't hit them on the first attack, it just kind of seeks things out, and you don't have to use anything like Stormbrand or you know whatever to put up stacks because. You know they're just hitting constantly and then they overlap so you're you, you get to 10 stacks almost instantly i think this is really 
kind of only good in delve, you know, in wide open maps and all that, you know, uh, KB is of course going to be better for clear, and once your attack speed is high enough, then, uh, and you also get pierce. It's pretty, it's tough to get pierce. I'd either have to run it in a five link or maybe give up maim. I've been thinking about uh, maybe dropping Tempest Shield, so then I could put Mame on, um, I don't know, somewhere else. But yeah, it's fun. I mean, I'm 91 and a half now. Don't die very often. It's usually just to um, degens, or maybe some like Omega one shots, the giant bone, uh, the bone bear thing. That's scary. Exiles, they can also be scary. My Chaos Res is, I think, my weakest area right now. So, I'm not really sure. Maybe just get lucky. Maybe just do some crafting with Aberrant Fossils. But my main goal is just to get to 95. I think I can, you know, definitely do that. But, you know, the event's pretty fun. The build's pretty fun. So, you know, maybe I'll see how, how far I can go. But... Huh. None of the other events really leap out too much at me, but this one's pretty fun. If they don't nerf uh, Corrupting Fever, I imagine I will be starting with this next league. Because I only have about, you know, 100,000-ish damage at 10 stacks on Corrupting Fever, but, you know, I'm only at level... 174, so mobs aren't too tanky. And, you know, the build is definitely carried by explosions, but... I'm enjoying it a lot. Because the life on block, and then also the life recovery from Cannibalistic Right make for a pretty good sustain in situations like that. But I have been trying to roll um, uh, roll a... Do I, I got two Ambus? Interesting. I have been trying to roll a wand with uh, plus one fizz spells. I've just been using fossils, but I have not had any luck so far. Overall, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, still a few days left in the event, but it's really, you know, gets to 50 in a breeze. Got the 75 super easily. You can use um, Purity of Elements instead of Determination or anything like that. I mean, honestly, with this shield, it's like ridiculous and so easy to cap resistance. You can almost just spec purely into uh, Endurance Charges and they'll be up all the time. But uh, yeah, cool build, fun event. Looking forward to getting the 95.